Namaste. The topic for this presentation is Migratory Birds in Mumbai. We hope this presentation will add to our understanding about the city of Mumbai. Seen on this map in purple is the city of Mumbai that was formerly known as Bombay. Mumbai is situated on India's west coast facing the Arabian Sea. Just as we humans migrate in search of better job prospects that offer better financial stability necessary to lead safe and healthy life, birds undertake journeys driven by their intuition that are at times seasonal, they do so to improve their chances of survival and that of their of offspring. The purpose of migration is also to move away from dwindling resources. Primary resources sought by birds during migration are food and nesting locations. Migration are triggered by a change in day length, surrounding temperatures, food supplies, and above all genetic predisposition. While short-distance migration probably evolved from a fairly simple need for food, the origins of long-distance migration patterns are much more complex. Taking arduous journey that sometimes stretch several thousand miles can be dangerous and stressful due to exposure to predators, exhaustion and limited access to food and water during the flight. Synchronization is critical during migrations to, to ensure that birds survive migration and successfully reproduce. Bird migration, breeding, and nesting are timed to coincide with the peak availability of food sources. Precipitation pattern change brought about by the global warming alters the timing of emergence of leaves, of leaves and flowers, the arrival of butterflies and migratory birds, and other interdependent natural phenomena. These phenological disruptions could ultimately result in decline in population of migrating birds that can eventually lead to their extinction. With over 18 million people calling it a home, metropolitan Mumbai is ranked the eighth most populous city in the world. Population density of the city exceeds 73,000 people per square mile. Due to ever-rising auto emissions and other entities that contribute to poor air quality, pollution is a major concern in Mumbai with air quality index exceeding 351 in some places. Regardless, each year, almost 60 different species of birds from 29 different countries in the world migrate to Mumbai. Some fly as much as 8,000 miles, averaging 400 miles each night. To put in perspective for the Mumbai audience, each night this birds flies distance that is equivalent to distance between Mumbai and Hyderabad, capital of the state of Telangana and the de jure capital of Andhra Pradesh. The primary reason for the arrival of different migratory bird species in large number in Mumbai is the coastline city has to offer. Mumbai has 93 miles of coastline and nearly 10 mile long beach. What makes this coastline an ideal habitat for the migratory birds is the 44 square miles of creeks and the, and the mangroves along the coastline. Vasai Creek, Thani Creek, Mahim Creek and Garai Creek are some of the creeks in and around Mumbai that support the migratory bird population. Additionally, there are five major lakes that supply water to the city Vihar Lake, Powai Lake, Tansa Lake, Vitarna Lake, Lake, and Tulsi Lake. These catchment areas provide food and shelter to the migratory birds. What also makes Mumbai ideal place for the migratory birds is the weather. Mumbai has a tropical climate with average annual temperature of 81 degrees Fahrenheit and average annual precipitation of 87 inches. Migratory birds have designated paths that they follow during migration, sort of avian superhighways. The routes that migratory birds traverse during their migrations are known as flyways. In this map, the different flyways followed by birds are highlighted in different colors. The major traditional wintering ground and grounds for the waterbirds of the Central Asian Flyway, CAF, shown in green color in the map are located in India. Large number birds traveling along the CAF descend upon the wetlands of India in search of shelter and food. Coastal wetlands in India provide winter refuge to migratory birds flying from different parts of the world of the world such as North, Central and West Asia, Europe, and Mediterranean regions. 
Birds migrating from Arctic to East Africa use the coastal wetlands along the west coast of India as stopover sites. The Shivri Mudflats, one of the Ramsar sites in the state of Maharashtra, is a section of sprawling 10,000 hectare Mahil Shivri Trombi mudflats that is 6.25 mile long and 1.8 mile wide with thick mangroves along the Arabian Sea. Formed by the deposition of mud, stilt, clay and containing algae, and tiny crustaceans due to the tidal activity, the Shivri mudflats sustains extraordinary range of biodiversity. Most of the mudflats lie within the intertidal zone and based on the timing of the tide, this mudflats remains submerged and exposed twice a day. As a result Shivri mudflats has been feeding site for large flamingo population and other migratory shorebirds such as brown-headed gull, black-headed gull, whiskered tern, gull-billed tern, Caspian tern, curlew sandpiper, wimbrel, Eurasian curlew, common red shank and common sandpiper. For the bird lovers in Mumbai, it became a contentious issue when it was decided to hand over section of Shivri mudflats to Mumbai Metropolitan Region Development Authority, MMRDA, to develop Shivri Nhava Shiva Trans Harbor Link also known as Mumbai Trans Harbor Link, MTHL. In 2013, in an attempt to win over the nature enthusiast of Mumbai, the Forest Department declared Shivri mudflats as one of the six Ramsar sites in the state of Maharashtra. A Ramsar site is a wetland site designated to be of international importance under the Ramsar Convention, also known as the Convention on Wetlands, an intergovernmental environmental treaty established in 1971 by UNESCO, which came into effect in 1975. The ship Bandup Pumping Station, BPS, with thick vegetation is home to more than 200 species of birds, both migratory and non-migratory. Located in the northeast suburb of Mumbai, it is essentially a sewage treatment plant that is considered birder's paradise. With Thane Creek lined up with dense mangroves in close vicinity and Vasai Creek not very far, BPS offers perfect setting for the birds visiting shores of Mumbai from far-off places to breed, forage, and roost. For the birders and nature enthusiasts from all over the world visiting Mumbai, BPS serves as the entrance to the nearby Thane Creek Flamingo Sanctuary, TCFS. Some of the rare and the birds that are threatened due to loss of habitat that you are likely to come across at BPS are black-headed ibis, curlew sandpiper, Eurasian curlew, Eurasian oystercatcher and painted stork. The Maharashtra Forest Department is considering developing the infrastructure of the state-run BPS to promote ecotourism. Besides Bandup Pumping Station and Shivri Mudflats, the other habitats of the migratory birds in and around the city of Mumbai are Aroli Jetty, Thane Flamingo Sanctuary, Delhi Public School Pond, Training Ship Chanakya, TSC, Wetland, NRI Complex Ponds, Jasai and Panch slash Panch Dolri Wetlands. These habitats pats are monitored on a monthly basis by the folks at Bombay Natural History Society. In the list of the spotted birds visiting Mumbai, compiled by the dedicated researchers of the Bombay Natural History Society, BNHS, there are 86 different birds. The list was compiled based on the multiple sightings at different locations in Mumbai by multiple BNHS researchers. The birds that appear in the recent BNHS report includes different kinds of herons, egrets, plovers, jackanas, gulls, terns, cormorants, flamingos, godwits, sandpipers, shanks, ducks, and ibis. List also includes common teal, cotton pygmy goose, gadwall, gargany, northern pintail, northern shoveler, ruddy, shell duck, oriental darter, red wattled lapwing, Asian openbill, painted stork, little prattencole, Eurasian oyster catcher, Indian skimmer, great grebe, common coot, common moorhen, white-breasted waterhen, purple swamp hen, black-winged stilt, pied avocet, Dunlin, Urim Curlew, Little Stint, Ready Turnstone, Ruff, Sanderling, Temink Stint, Wimbrel, and Eurasian Spoonbill. In the the Mumbai Trans Harbor Link, MTHL, is a 13.5 mile six lane road bridge that will connect Mumbai with Navi Mumbai. The construction of MTHL began in April 2018 in Shivri, Mumbai. Early impact of construction of this road bridge was realized soon after.
In March 2019, 60,733 flamingos migrated to 500 hectare Shivri Mudflat, a popular flamingo's habitat in Mumbai. In the following year, that is March 2020, that number fell to 4,395. Investigation is, un is underway to find out if the decline in the population of the flamingos arriving at the Shivri Mudflat is due to the ongoing construction of the MTHL road bridge. Also, a 14 miles long freeway with eight lanes is under construction along Mumbai's western coastline. This coastal road will connect marine lines on Western Railway Line in the south circled in the map and red and Kandavali in the north on the same railway line also circled in red. Even though the impact of construction of this road, this road on migratory bird population is being downplayed by the authorities, the construction is likely to drive fish population away from coastal Mumbai into deep waters. This will starve the 50,000 Siberian seagulls that show up on the beaches of Mumbai each year. What began as filing a first information report with the local police station about the destruction of mangroves in 2016 turned into a passion for conserving wetlands for the Navi Mumbai couple. The legal fight is about saving 80 hectares of wetlands in Navi Mumbai provides shelter to thousands of flamingos that migrate to Navi Mumbai each, by each year. These wetlands include Belaga, Bentgal, Panj, Tala and T.S. Chanakya. The wetlands would be long gone but for the valiant fight put up by the Ukarwal couple, Sunil and Shruti. The matter is still under judicial consideration. Plastic solid waste that finds its way into the wetlands is a major threat to the migratory birds and their habitat. The only way this threat can be addressed is via education and spreading general awareness about fragility of the ecosystem among the general public. Another way to overcome the threat posed by the plastic solid waste, waste is to adopt circular economy instead of the linear economy. Circular economy that is based on sharing, leasing, reusing, repairing, refurbishing and recycling will help to conserve natural resources, reduce solid waste and slow down the climate change by minimizing the gaseous emissions. Very simple way to pull way to practice circular economy to protect the migrating birds and their habitat is by using reusable bags to carry grocery instead of the single-use plastic bags and using reusable water bottle to carry the water instead of drinking bottled water. This presentation is dedicated to the loving residents of the great city of Mumbai, fondly referred to as Mumbakers, and to the dedicated volunteers of Bombay Natural History Society, a non-government organization dedicated since 1883 to the bird cause via nature conservation, research and public awareness. Mumbakers and, and the volunteers of BNHS are the reason each year our feathered friends take the most challenging journey of their life to finally descend on Mumbai.